Hello everyone, uh, this is a demo of mixed text direction support for Roam. So this is suitable for graphs uh, where you have two languages, one of them right to left, the other one left to right. So for example, here I have uh, both Arabic, which is a right to left language, and English, which is left to right. And uh, the goal is to properly show these uh, blocks in your graph. I had a simple version of this implemented before. Uh, today I'm releasing a couple of new features. So first of all, now you can have infinitely nested uh, RTL and LTL, LTR blocks. For example, here you see that I have this right to left block and left to right block. So these are uh, in the same level. Now, let's see, I have another child for this block, which is right to left. So this is the first child. It's fine. And you can see that the place of multibar is correct. Now let's open this. This one has two uh, children. Again, right to left one of them, left to right the other one, and so forth. So uh, I have Hebrew over here, Arabic, and yeah, so you can have infinitely nested right to left and left to right. The other thing that is resolved now is uh, math. So now you can have uh, math without any issue. So previously, the code was messing up with math. Uh, but still, you cannot have math in uh, right to left blocks. So uh, yeah, so it's going to be hard to fix this in general. But I assume that if you have uh, a multi-language uh, graph, probably you're using math in the English uh, blocks. So that's still an issue. Uh, so the other improvement is that you can uh, determine various uh, fonts for each one of the languages and minor fixes. So now you can uh, have uh, headings and the font of the heading, the direction of the heading is now uh, fixed. So uh, yeah, and then for star pages, you have the correct direction based on the languages. And yeah, so these are all minor improvements. Uh, for this extension to work, you need this uh, uh, for these four lines of JavaScript. So this uh, for this extension, the JavaScript code is simple. So you just need this. Uh, but in CSS, you have multiple options. So these are variables that you can change uh, for CSS. So you have a group of them which are for right to left language and a group of them for left to right. And the idea here is that your graph has a direction itself. So uh, the default direction is left to right. You can change the... <clears throat> direction here uh, in uh, user settings. So you can uh, change the direction of your graph from uh, left to right to right to left. And uh, yeah, so uh, you have a default direction. So my suggestion is that uh, if you have a default direction as left to right, you uh, mostly need to leave all of these uh, options as onset and only change the options that you have for RTL. And uh, if your default language is, uh, if your default direction for the graph is RTL, uh, you should probably make all of these onset and change this. So that's the general suggestion, but um, you can, you can have 
uh, you, you can set both of these set of uh, variables and there shouldn't be any issue, but uh, yeah, probably you have some customization for your graph using some CSS or theme. So you don't want to, if you don't want to lose that and you just want to uh, apply your changes for uh, the RTL uh, language, you can just use this and leave these alone. Okay, so this is the general uh, thing that I wanted to mention. And you need to import the main CSS using this URL. And then you can add fonts as needed uh, here. So for example, uh, here, I think the most straightforward way of importing font, fonts is from uh, Google Fonts API. So whatever the font name is, you can add that over here. So let me just uh, show you where you can find uh, new fonts and include it over here. Okay, now I'm in Google Font API. So these are the fonts that you can browse. You can select a language. So let's see, I am interested in this font. So the font name is New Tagamin. So I can copy that name, add it to the end of this. So the separator and then this name. And then because this is multi-part, you need a plus sign over here. So let's say that I want to change the font name to this. So I need quotation mark in this name. And don't forget to change the font family. So onset font fork. So I change it to this. And then if I come here, you see that the font has changed. Okay. So the other option is the background color. So I usually uh, prefer to observe uh, this visual distinction between uh, blocks that I'm editing and the rest of the blocks. So I've added this uh, light yellow color over here. If you don't want that, you can just change it to onset. So if I change it to onset for LTR, you see that I don't see any background color change here, uh, even though I can edit the text. So you have the same thing for uh, right to left language. Okay, so the other thing is the font size. Again, I also prefer to uh, have a distinction between uh, the block that I'm editing and the rest of the block. So I want that to be slightly larger. So let's assume that the general LTR font is 1EM. I want this one to be 1.1. 1 .1. So Yeah, I think I need EM over here. Okay. Now, if I click on any of these uh, English blocks, you see that it's like they are distinct. And if I uh, change the color, I think it's uh, easier to track what you're doing. Yeah, so these are just general uh, things that you can change and uh, the reason behind them. So uh, you see there is a generic font, font and font size and background color for text area, size of the text area. Okay. And then there are, uh, and, and the other option is text area line height. You may be interested in changing that too. So if you are editing something and you want to have uh, like visually uh, distinct lines. So I'm increasing the line height to two. And now if I click on this, you see that Visually, it's easier to read this block. So yeah, so these are uh, 
all of the small things that I wanted to mention. And then there are a couple of uh, things that it depends on your current setup. You may need to change them. So uh, these two uh, margin top, so for bullets and for control. So bullet is this uh, bullet point that you see over here. So maybe because you have some non-default value or your theme has some non-default value for uh, margin or padding of this bullet, uh, you see uh, displacement of this bullet when you change the, uh, when uh, you, you uh, pick a like RTL font. So you may uh, want to change this. For example, here for margin top, I have five pixel. So if I set this to zero, so let's see, what is the default place of this? So you see that it's a little bit off. So uh, I gave you this option to change this based on your current setup. So you can correctly place it. And the other thing is for the control. So, so this is the control uh, that I, uh, Pin. So if you click on this, you have some control options. So this is aimed as control. Again, this can be displaced based on your theme. So here, if I may, and, and font, so if I make it zero, then it's a little bit uh, off. So you see here for English, uh, is aligned with the bullets and the line itself. So, but for Arabic, it's a little bit off. So you can manually change this based on your preference and four is uh, satisfying. So uh, for my current setup, the last options that I want to explain are these two options. So, uh, RTL margin right and left, and LTR margin right and left. So uh, whenever you have a child block, for example, I have ENG, let's say ENG1, ENG2, uh, you get a margin uh, for your children, and this gives you the indentation. And uh, it gets complicated if you have a right to left child, for example. So what should be this margin? So you can make it zero. You can have non-zero value over here. And you can have margin over here for right margin, not for left. Uh, so I think uh, the safest option is to have these two uh, as two equal values. And uh, so I think it's easier to explain this uh, by changing the value. So here I have a right to left block, a right to left child, right to left descendant. And then this one uh, is another child of this block. Okay. So if I, uh, and, and you see that uh, even though you have space over here, um uh, this left to right block does not use it and this is because of this left margin so if i make this zero you're going to end up getting extra space you're using it but the issue is that now visually you cannot say that this is uh child of this and this is therefore descendant of this one so uh, yeah, so so that's that's the issue. It's like uh, this is the descendant, but now it's in the level of the uh, uncles. So because of that, uh, I think it's easier to keep these uh, as same values. But um, yeah, so for sure, for RTLs you need the right margin. For LTRs you need the left margin. But you can play with the other two values uh, and uh, decrease them, but probably you don't want to make them zero. Yeah, so that was the last uh, thing that I wanted to uh, explain. But if you close the right sidebar and increase the widths, you shouldn't have any issue 
with the decreasing widths as you go down uh, in the descendants. So you see that you have enough space for everything. Uh, but in general, um, I think no one is using like infinite level of indentation and uh, not all of the blocks are this full. So you should be fine with reduced widths and it shouldn't affect your regular workflow. Uh, just let me know your comments and if you uh, see anything uh, wrong with the uh, directions and if there is any issue that I need to fix it, please um, comment or on GitHub sub 10 issue or feature request. Thanks.